Good morning, good morning everybody. Dylan K. Johnson here and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how I painted the lettering and numbering on my Rogue Deep Dish plates. This is something that I've been asked quite a few times over on Instagram, what I used, how I did it, and basically just kind of the whole process. So I'm going to be covering that in detail today in this video. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, now we're gonna get into what we need for this project. So it's really simple. It's actually a lot simpler than most people tend to think. It just takes a bit of time. So first and foremost, we need some isopropyl alcohol. This is gonna be used with a microfiber cloth or rag in order to prep and clean the faces of the plates and wherever we're gonna be applying the paint. Now with this, we wanna make sure we're using a microfiber rag so we don't leave any lint behind. Next up is the paint, and today I'm gonna to be using Sharpie oil-based paint pens. All of this will be linked down below in the description if you guys are interested or you wanna check them out. They're super cheap, they come in a very wide variety of colors, and that's also an Amazon affiliate link, so if you guys do decide to purchase anything through it, I get a little bit of a kickback. Definitely helps out, helps show your support for the channel, helps me make more videos for you. But, that's what we're using. I'm just using white today because I like that nice white on black look. Very clean, crisp, and it fits my gym really well. So with this, I've got a three pack of them. I'll likely only go through two of them at most, probably not even two of them for all thousand pounds of my Rogue Deep Dish plates, but it's all dependent on kind of how many layers you actually decide to do, and we'll get into that as we go through this process. So like I said, first up is going to be cleaning and prepping the face of the plates. So what I'm gonna be doing here is I'm basically taking a little bit of the isopropyl alcohol, I'm gonna pour it onto the microfiber rag, and then I'm just gonna kind of lightly scrub the face of the plates wherever I'm gonna be applying the paint. Now with this, just wanna make sure that before we go and start using the paint, that this dries fully. It should dry pretty quickly, but you just wanna make sure, give it a minute or two to let the isopropyl alcohol fully evaporate. And then we're gonna go in with our paint pens and we're just going to lightly and evenly apply our first coat. This is where things take a bit of time. So ideally you wanna let this sit and dry for around 20, maybe 30 minutes before you start applying your next coat. Now, how many coats you actually end up using is gonna be based on personal preference. I'll show up on screen here kind of an example of up to four coats, which is what I'm gonna be doing on all of my plates is four coats of this paint, but that way you can kind of see the difference between one, two, three, and four coats to see just kind of how it changes the more you apply to it. So again, this is just gonna be based on personal preference. I really like the way four coats looks. It's very crisp and clean. You don't see any of the black coming through and it just pops that much more. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. But basically with each of these coats, with each of, with each of these layers, you wanna allow it time to fully dry before applying your next layer or your next coat. And that amount of time is going to depend a little bit on kind of how cold it might be in your gym, in your garage, wherever you may be. But ideally let them sit for anywhere from like 20 to 30 minutes just to ensure that they're fully dried so you're not actually just smearing the layer before, um, before you start applying that next coat. Again, I'm gonna be doing four coats on all of my plates, but that's basically it. And that's pretty much the entire process. Add as many layers as you want in order to make them look the way you desire. And once you've finished applying your last coat of paint, make sure that you allow it at least 12 to maybe 24 hours before you touch that face of the plate or before you touch anywhere that you've painted. That just kind of helps to prevent any kind of chipping smearing any paint getting on anything else and you just want to make sure that it is completely dried before anything comes into contact with that paint so overall though as I said it's a very quick and easy process well quick isn't the word I'd say it's a very simple and easy process it just takes a bit of time hopefully you guys learned something that is exactly how I've gone through and painted all of the faces of my plates well, I haven't finished painting them all yet. I'm still in the process of doing it. Overall though, I really like the way it looks. It makes these deep dish plates just pop that much more, really fits with the theme of my gym. And yeah, I just really like the way it looks. So hopefully you guys learned something. As I said before, everything I used will be linked down below in the description. So if you guys are interested in picking any of this up, they are affiliate links. So if you 
decide to pick anything up from them, it definitely helps me out, helps support this channel. I get a little bit of a kickback. Everybody's happy. No extra cost to you guys. It's just as on Amazon side, they give me a little bit of a cut. So yeah, you don't need to worry about it. Just use the links down below, click them, do it do it. You know you want to. <laughs> All right. So that is going to be it for me today, guys. Again, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you end up using this process and painting your plates as well, go ahead and tag me over on Instagram at dkj.fit. I'll also have that link down below in the description, but I'd love to see your guys' results, what you guys come up with, how it turned out and everything like that. So as always, thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Bye. Yeah. Missed. <laughs> Later.